Seasons greetings everyone. Welcome back to the channel JL Colorist. My name is Jody, and I am so relieved to be getting close to the end of this series. It has been a long month but it's also been a lot of fun and I appreciate uh, your hanging in there with me through all of these days. Today we are on day 19. Let's just get right to the page and it's a busy page. There's lots on here to color as a main picture. So I have decided to give it a rest a little bit on elaborate backgrounds. So I have some uh, gingham kind of washi tape, plaid washi tape that it would suit kind of the homey feel of this page. Uh, so what I have done is added a strip of washi tape, the top and bottom, cutting out the area where I have the number 19. I have a couple of stickers from the Creative Memories collection that came with the uh, paper pack. So I will uh, likely put on a couple of stickers at the bottom, but let me lower the camera and we'll get started right away on our little mouse friend. Okay, taking a look at the picture, uh, we see that uh, obviously here's the fireplace that we've seen before. Uh, she is putting out uh, looks like a plate of cookies and a carrot for the event uh, that's coming up which is Santa Claus arriving with the reindeer. So we've got the beetle bug carrying probably a cup of milk and we've got Wilbur here as well. So lots going on on the page. Uh, we haven't seen this angle before of the house, so now we actually have the door with wreath, a window up top. Um, I like doing wood with my cra pencil crayon, so I'm going to do that. We'll start with the mouse though, because we have her colors memorized off by heart. And here they are on the side as well, if you need them. We're going to qu quickly do her, uh, I think we will make her hat blue again. Um, perhaps. So we'll just check it out. In fact, I'm going to zip back to uh, the baking day. And yeah, so I had her in a blue hat with a blue and pink uh, apron. So we will keep those colors going and let's get started. Before I get carried away, I'm going to quickly do her apron so I don't accidentally color it something else. So I hope everyone is having a great day. Today is Tuesday, so not much happens around here for me on a Tuesday. My Wednesdays are generally a busier day. for the little frill around her apron. So this is a Pitt Artist Pen in Sky Blue 146 and it matches the color scheme of all the Polychromos pencils. So while we're coloring, we will answer a couple of questions today. Just so we've got something to do while we have this fun picture unfolding. We'll start off with our first one. What are you grateful for? Well, I am grateful that uh, we're still here, that uh, I have a home and I, I have health. I'm grateful for my family and I'm grateful for all of my fellow colorists and YouTube subscribers. Having you here on the channel uh, is really nice. It's like I'm talking to friends and then you guys answer back in the comments below and it's it's really nice to wake up and and have people commenting. So okay, we're going to switch to this time of year I think is uh, we often think about what we're grateful for. We've just had Thanksgiving not long ago and we're coming up to the end of a, another year. We've got Christmas happening. So this time of year I'm usually a little bit contemplative about what I'm grateful for. So it's been uh, 
interesting the last couple of years, that's for sure. But I'm still have more gratitude than disappointments, I think. In the comments below, love to hear what you're grateful for. As much as I have issues with my health, I'm still really grateful that I have the health that I do have. And I've been on oxygen now for four years and I feel so much better on it. I've been able to participate a lot more in life than I would have without it. So although it's a, a inconvenience, um, it has allowed me to continue living and I'm super thankful that I have that. We're using a glazed pen in yellow for this little guy. We'll just keep him consistent. Draw a mouth. On Wilbur. What's the most interesting museum you've ever visited? And I really would like to hear your comments on this because I have not been to a whole lot of museums. Um, the coloring museum that I would love to go to and I've seen some YouTube videos on it is like the Derwent and the Faber-Castell Museum. They have a pencil museum. I would love to go see that. So if you've been to a cool museum. Love to hear. Okay, the mouse is done except for the hat. We're going to use Frozen Lake. And then we'll use some silver to uh, draw back in these accent lines. This is a garland on top. We've been uh, keeping that the glamorous gold, so let's grab that. Let's use a zig marker for that green. I like the brush tip on the zig markers, really flexible and they get into such tight areas. And we will bring in some glazed pens or maybe some uh, sparkly gel pens. Haven't used many of those lately, so I'll go grab a couple of those. Okay, I've grabbed a uh, Pentel Dual Hybrid and see how that looks. That's quite nice. And then we've also got some Dollar Tree uh, glitter gel pens. Let me go do the background and then we'll come back in with pencil to do the door and the fireplace. Okay, here's how, how it is looking. I did cool gray five here. Closer to the fireplace, I did cool gray three. 
uh, to show that there's light coming from the fire and then blended back, back down to cool gray five and seven and then I accidentally started going over the rug uh, so to fix that I first tried to lighten it with a blender pen and that wasn't going to work it enough so I have decided to use the same washi tape that I have along the top and make it the rug. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and put some washi tape down and then I'm going to carefully cut out the area and make it so that uh, the rug is washi tape. So this is going to take me a few minutes to do and uh, but I think that it'll save the page. Okay, here is how it is looking with the uh, rug drawn in. I'm now going to take a micron pen and just, uh, I've lost his legs, so we'll draw those back in. And I'm going to draw the edge of the rug in as well. Trying to make the with the, the lines the same as the illustrator. Make sure we haven't lost any toes or <laughs> anything. Okay, now that mistake has been fixed and we continue on with the rest of the page. Okay, let's bring in a few uh, polychromos pencils. Uh, this stubby one here, I believe, is uh, brown ochre, which is 182. We've got raw umber, uh, 180. We've got bister, 179, and green gold, 268. And I just thought that I would uh, do the cookie plate here. And we're going to have the uh, uh, some light coming from the fireplace. The front of the plate is going to be lighter than the back side of the plate. So we'll have the green gold up front. Casting a bit of light from the fireplace. And we're going to do the cookies and I'm going to do the cookies light brown. I expect those to be raisin cookies or chocolate chip cookies. Comment below. Do you like raisin cookies? I like oatmeal raisin cookies. I really enjoy those. And uh, this is one of my favorite cookies. Not really a Christmas cookie per se. Gingerbread cookies and shortbread cookies are the cookies of choice for my Christmas cookies, but did you bake any Christmas cookies this year? I only baked a little bit of gingerbread, but my girlfriend sent me gingerbread cookies and those are the best. She's got a wonderful recipe. So a little bit of uh, Casting on the cookies there. For the carrot, I have grabbed dark cadmium orange 115, cadmium orange 111, and yellow, dark chromium yellow 109. So, darkest colors on the bottom. I don't 
recall leaving cookies out for Santa when uh, we were younger, but perhaps we did. So I've got the very lightest color on top and then I'm blending the medium color, the top and the bottom together. Okay, that is how the cookies and carrot are looking. And let's do this. Now we did warm grays before, I believe. Okay, and I'm going to keep out a yellow. I'll just keep this one out, which is the Naples Yellow 185. So I've got all of the grays here. <laughs> got the warm grays here in order from one all the way up to five. So this time we're kind of in reverse where we are, the lightest is on the outside and then it'll go darker. So we'll do our darkest on the edge here. So this is the warm gray five. And then the four. And the three. And then I'm going to reserve some yellow, so I'm going to put the yellow here before the gray. And then I'm going to come back with two and finish it off. Okay. Okay. That's how it's going to look. Sorry. Zoom you in a little bit better. Do that all again for the next few. So I'll speed the camera up so you're not uh, having to watch this process. Okay, this is the fireplace. We'll zoom you back out. We are going to do a wooden mantle and then a wooden door. I'm going to use the same browns, so I'll just pull those out. Okay, I've pulled out four browns, the green gold 268, the uh, dark umber 182, uh, burnt umber, too small to see the number, and uh, burnt sienna 283. So just going to do the darkest brown right underneath here where there would be shadow and the green gold which has got the yellow in it so I'm gonna do that at the front and then just blending in the other colors I like to have wood be multicolored and then when I blend them all together it looks more natural. So I never, typically do not have just one color. I usually have probably three colors to make wood. Okay, and that is how that's gonna look. Let's move over to the door. Using the same colors around the door, the uh, darkest areas are obviously around this edge of the door. And the wood grain is going up and down, so that is the direction of my strokes. And I will also blend that way. And I'm not pressing hard, um, so I'm not leaving deep grooves. Also, is allows you to blend a lot easier, is if you just have many light layers. I'm gonna go for my next darkest color, which is burnt sienna.
What's your farthest you've walked all in a day? What is the farthest you have walked in a day? Oh boy. <laughs> well, once my sister and I were in Victoria on vacation and uh, we asked for directions to the beach and the people said, do you have a car? And we said, no, we were just gonna walk. And they kind of gave us a strange look, but they said, okay, well, it's down this way and pointed us in a direction. And it was very, very far. We walked for hours and we had, by the time we got to the beach, um, we just kind of laid there and uh, relaxed. And then we had to make our way back. But our backs of our legs, our knees were burnt. Uh, so I'm not sure how far that was, but holy moly, uh, we had a good time though. We were laughing so hard because we just said, you know, we, we think we can smell the beach, we can smell the ocean. And uh, it was still a long way off. So there was that. And I once did a five kilometer walkathon for a charity. And uh, at that time, my health was not super great, but it wasn't also. It wasn't bad. I was not on oxygen at the time, so um, I did do a little bit of training. And walking five kilometers doesn't sound like uh, very far for a you know normal adult with good health. But when you are somebody with some challenges, uh, that was actually pretty far for me. So yeah, so yeah, the the beach expedition was probably the very farthest. But the one where I actually know the distance that I walked would have been the five mile walkathon. What about yourself? Are you uh, a walker? How far have you walked in a day? Certainly would not be walking that far now, but uh, great memories. That was a great question. Okay, let me do some uh, Gamsol blending, and I'm going to go from light to dark. And then wipe off my Gamsol brush. For the uh, door casing here, I'm just going to come in with my pine cone just uh, to keep it the same as the windowsill. And it's a dark enough brown that it uh, will look fine. And then we've got this tree root for some reason there. So I assume it's a tree root and not just a, a fissure, but I'm just going to do it in bar dark brown. I think we are ready to do the stickles on the hat and the garland. Oh my goodness, friends, we have finally done it. This is actually the last of this stickles. I have squeezed all I can from it and I will be retiring this bottle as soon as we are done smearing it around. So this bottle has made it to 19 days, which is amazing considering uh, the very first day we had the incident. So well done, Stickles. Well done. Okay, just a few finishing details. I'm going to come in with a pink and I'm going to do the little stitches on her apron pink just to blend those two colors together and I'm also going to do the mailbox over here the mail slot it's going to be silver using the signal gel pen for the doorknob and the mailbox okay 
Now I'm going to come in and do some on her hat. Okay, make that stand out a bit. And let's grab those stickers. I'll zoom you up a bit. Now we have these decorations as well. They are baubles that have that. And I thought that that would kind of look cool if they were like hanging from the streamer above. So that's what we're going to do there. Our gingerbread man here. And we've got cookies for Santa. And we're going to put that right there. Okay, I have extended the camera way up to get the entire picture in this time. This is how our page has turned out. I do like the fact that uh, I used the Cool Gray 3 here because uh, it does look like there is some light coming from the fireplace going outwards. do like using colored pencils and I do like the way that the wood and the uh, fireplace turned out. I think it was a good save on the uh, rug and it matches uh, the washi tape on the border as well. So I think overall the page looks great and Thank you so much for joining me today on day 19. Quick peek as usual for day 20. And that is Sam is making breakfast, uh, flipping some pancakes. So that'll be a fun page to do as well. See you back here tomorrow. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care. Bye-bye.